Hey, it's Danielle. It's been a little while since I made a video, and my roommates aren't home, and it's nice outside, so I thought I'd do one while I'm out here and have a little time. Uh, so, life's been pretty good. Uh, I would say the semester's off to a great start, and I have new classes, two classes of Spanish 1 and one class of Spanish for Native Speakers, and I really like them all. Um, Spanish for Native Speakers is fun because this is going to be really nerdy and not that surprising. But I love grammar and I love Spanish grammar. Uh, the only challenging thing, or not the only challenging thing, but one challenging thing about Spanish for native speakers is while I am pretty knowledgeable about the specifics of the grammar, I do have to review it so that I can effectively teach it. But I do enjoy that group of kids even though it is kind of a large class. Um, I also really love my Spanish 1 classes. I love Spanish 1 in general because I love starting off with a group of students, they're all starting on the same level and I get to teach them the basics of the language and set that foundation for them. And this semester I had a goal of speaking a lot more Spanish than I did last semester and I think I'm doing a pretty good job. There are some days where I kind of slip up and use a bit more English than I want to, but I'm trying to use um, my website so there's English but I'm speaking Spanish and they can kind of follow along and using more gestures and having videos and having them do things on paper as well so try and just to have a balance with different tools that I can use in my classroom but I think it's going pretty well and sometimes I'll say things in Spanish like repeat the same sorts of phrases and the kids will know what that means or if I'm saying something new but I point to something or I make a gesture and they'll try and guess what that means in English and I'm I'm really proud of that and hopefully as the semester goes on I'll be able to incorporate more Spanish. I hope I'm able to do that and not just say it. Um, and I do want to start using more Spanish on my actual website and we'll see how much they use by the end. Because even now they're um, pretty good about asking to use the bathroom in Spanish or some if they have a question or want to say something they'll reference the phrases I have around the room to make sure they can ask me in Spanish. So that's life on the teaching front. Um, the weather here today, it's actually, oh, it's so nice. I was able to go around for a walk, uh, which is kind of funny because yesterday, even though it was President's Day, we were supposed to have school, and they ended up canceling it because there was a chance of icy conditions, and I think some places in the county were kind of icy. And now today, it's in the upper 50s. I'm out here in a t-shirt and a sweatshirt and jeans, and it's just really nice. The weather can be a little crazy, and I am very much looking forward to spring when I can go outside whenever I want and when the sun stays up a little bit past six. Um, huh, trying to think of some more interesting things that I could talk about. Maybe I'll make a future video about something nerdy like grammar or some such thing. Uh, how are all of you doing? I've missed you. I've missed being on YouTube. I'll try and make another video soon. I don't know if I'll do weekly updates at least for a little while. Uh, like I mentioned in my last video, I have a boyfriend now, so that's cool, and he's really awesome. He doesn't yet know I make YouTube videos. It's not really a frequent thing anyway, but a lot of my weekends I hang out with him and I think about him a lot, so not always thinking about what I could be making a video about, but I'll try and think about that more, and. Hopefully I'll be making another video soon, and, well, have a good whatever time of day it is. Bye.